I want to go across now to Kira Rudik. She's a Ukrainian MP, one of the most prominent Ukrainian faces through this entire crisis. You, uh, Kira, uh, good to see you you're, you're, that you're okay. Thanks for being with us here on India Today. Uh, I, I want to draw your you attention to this latest news break coming in, uh, Kira, of the of Vinitsa. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. A city in south, uh, 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 west southern Ukraine where... Apparently, eight cruise missiles have destroyed the airport there. Have you been hearing about this? Can you tell us more about what happened? Your country's president has just spoken about this and said eight cruise missiles have destroyed the airport there. Yes, so Russia continues uh, trying to take uh, major Ukrainian cities. So far, it failed. So far, uh, by different reasons, either people went out on the streets or uh, our army is fighting so bravely, they were not able to take cities. However, they are trying to destroy us with the air force. And you, we have seen it for the last 11 days, and you have seen it right now, that the destruction is happening uh, on the, uh, now on the east side of uh, Dnieper River and then on the west. This is why we are asking uh, our NATO allies for a no-fly zone. There, this is why it is so important for us to get the support from the air, because we are fighting very bravely on the ground. We already killed 11,000 Russian soldiers, but we are not able to protect us from the air. And this is why Russian forces are attacking uh, us from there. They are destroying airports, so we will not be able to get the help when uh, when the airplanes come, because they know that the Europeans and the, uh, the different nations are providing us with the additional uh, air force so we can fight ourselves. So they uh, are destroying the airports for by these reasons. And uh, they were able to move uh, further to the west. However, they are also working to surround Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. And this is one of the tactical steps to do that. This is terrible because uh, Vinica is a peaceful city. It was never ever trying to, um, it was never had any military organizations there. It's just like people and their small airport that was not a threat to anybody. This is why we see that Putin is, is a criminal. He's a war criminal and he will do anything to uh, rebuild the Russian empire or USSR or whatever he is building. That's why he needs to be stopped. That's why we need to unite our forces and stop the tyrant once and for all. He is crazy and he is acting as a person who does not care for human life at all. Yesterday, there was an agreement with Russian forces and with the central uh, organization in Russia that there will be a green corridor for refugees from the east of Ukraine. And what do you think happened? The evacuation didn't happen because they started shooting at the people who were trying just to get yes. away from the war. And this is something that cannot be forgotten and cannot be denied because he, what he is doing is he just destroyed harmless people of Ukraine and uh, he uh, attacks them and he's not attacking our army because our army is giving him a good fight back. So this is what is happening. We are ready to fight back. We are ready to fight him and we will be fighting him as much as possible with all our forces. However, without the no-fly zone over Ukraine, it seems like the whole Western world is just watching us being destroyed with no additional steps being taken. Kira, you, you know, you just mentioned that Venezia is a, you know, a, a, a part of uh, southwestern uh, Ukraine uh, that hasn't seen any violence so far. Why do you think this part of Ukraine is being targeted? Can you throw any light on that? Because we've seen relatively less uh, military activity in this part of Ukraine. Well, first of all, because they have the airport that is closer to Kiev, mm -hmm. the rest of the airports are being destroyed. So they are trying to uh, make sure that Kiev uh, will be under the siege and he will be able to starve us out. So that's why uh, they are destroying the airports uh, that are surrounding Kiev and that are closer to Kiev. Well, uh, uh, because they think that these airports can be used for military purposes. And Mo Putin moves further to show his strength. He needs to show some wins. For 11 days, he was not able to show any wins that he could explain to his people why he started this war. Russia is now being isolated from everything, from Apple, Google, Facebook, everything that is uh, all kinds of uh, MasterCard, 
Visa, credit cards, uh, different banking systems. So they are going to the North Korea type of living. And he needs to explain to his people why are they being isolated. So he's trying to show some kinds of like victories that he, the way that he thinks about them. But it will not happen. And people of Russia at some point will rebel because right now they're being totally paying for the uh, political advances that Putin wanted to make for his for himself only. Mm -hmm. And this is what is terrible. Kira, you know, the no fly zone, we keep talking about that no fly zone. The 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 combat activity over the last 48 hours has maybe brought global attention to the fact that a lot of air power is being used. We've just, you know, reported live from the city of Irpin, close to Kiev, where there are airstrikes and shelling taking place there. Uh, your, uh, you know, your army managed to shoot, out, shoot down uh, some Russian aircraft. Uh, you know, there are many more where that came from. And that's the reason why your country has been asking for a NATO-imposed no-fly zone. NATO believes that any such no-fly zone will be seen as an act of war with, uh, you know, Putin's army directly. In the middle of all of this, do you believe that there is any other solution? Because that air power is coming. Yes, that's why we are asking if there is, like, you can call it differently. If it's not a no-fly zone, then we need additional uh, military support. We need missiles. We need the systems of the air protection so we will be able to fight Russians. Right now, you see that they are coming from the air and... Uh, we are fighting them there, but there is not much that we can do when there is like too many Russian bombs and missiles. That's why we need help. Nobody wants Ukraine to fail, right? Like everybody wants us to win. So right now for us to win, here are the things that need to happen. We need additional supplies. We need additional uh, rockets that we can, uh, uh, that we can uh, oppose Russia in the air. And we don't really care how it will be called. No fly zone. It will be called... Uh, like additional aid, or it will be called a special military yeah. operation by NATO force, same way it is called right now by Russian, special military operation. And regarding the, the war that, that everybody is so afraid of, I think it's already started. There is no doubt that everybody is already involved into it. And if we didn't learn in hundreds of years of what Hitler was doing, so Putin is now doing the same. But Ukraine is in the middle of all of this. Putin will not be satisfied with Ukraine. We know that. There will be Poland, there will be Baltic countries. He will, was very adamant about that. And if he makes a mistake, like he was trying to bomb the nuclear plant, then it will be the whole world problems. So it will be the, the right. issue that everybody will have to deal with. And the, the uh, radiation doesn't care which passport you are holding. Absolutely. It doesn't care if you're a NATO member or not, if you're EU, if you're a Arab Emirates, if right. you're India. It just like, explodes and that's it. And that's like it's a nuclear crisis. And, and this we... is what Putin was trying to do the other night. He was bombing the nuclear plant. Absolutely. In and we've seen so that he might be closing in on another nuclear plant in southern Ukraine as well. Uh, you know, that has led to another scare. Kira, appreciate it. Thank you very much for being Thank with you. us. Day 11, the situation definitely escalating.